Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, TSB Canada releases report on 2021 police drone Cessna 172 collision, Electra Aero selected for AFWorks funding, and Mighty Fly announces second generation eVTOL. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. TSB Canada releases report on 2021 police drone Cessna 172 collision. The TSB of Canada has released its final report on their investigation of an August 2021 incident in which a police drone collided with a small single-engine Cessna near the Toronto Buttonville Municipal Airport. On August 10, 2021, while on final approach under day VFR conditions to YKZ's runway 15, a Cessna 172N collided with a DJI Matrice M210 RPA. The Cessna was crewed by a student pilot and a certified flight instructor. The RPA was operated by the York Regional Police Department and under the control of a pilot and a visual observer stationed on the ground. At approximately 13.01 EDT, the student pilot and flight instructor perceived a solid impact in the vicinity of the Cessna's lower engine cowling. The pair continued the approach and made an uneventful landing. After securing the aircraft, they observed damage to the front left engine cowl beneath the 172's propeller. However, no signs of bird strike were evident. Shortly thereafter, a member of the York Regional Police Department reported to YKZ airport staff that he believed a collision had occurred between the remotely piloted aircraft he'd been operating and another aircraft. The DJI Matrice M210 had been in a stationary hover at 400 feet AGL when it and the Cessna collided. The RPA was destroyed. And after the break, Deroni nabs 25 unit sale to three points. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. And now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Deroni and Ab's 25 unit sale to three points. Deroni Aerospace has signed an MOU to sell 25 of its two-seat H1 eVTOL to Three Points in Space Media, a Canadian remotely piloted aircraft systems operator. The deal cements Three Points as one of the larger Canadian dealers to be, with a plan to purchase and sell the H1 after it completes testing and certification. In exchange for early access to flying prototypes of the H1 flying car, Three Points agreed to assist in testing early versions of the vehicle. Starlink expands reach to McMurdo. The National Science Foundation has begun relying upon SpaceX's Starlink Internet service, allowing far better connection to the country's most far-flung research sites. McMurdo Station, the epicenter of American Antarctic research, has been using the service since fall of last year. But expansions in uplink equipment has expanded Starlink's reach beyond the bounds of the large base camp. SpaceX has been picking up speed in launching its constellation, currently sitting in the neighborhood of 3,400 satellites out of a total projected array of almost 30,000 in all. Rocket Lab's Virginia mission successful. Rocket Lab's 3030 Electron rocket launch was successful, starting off operations from its Virginia base on the right foot. The mission, Virginia is for launch lovers, lifted off at 1800 Eastern on January 24th from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 2 at Virginia Space's Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, part of NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. The mission deployed a trio of satellites for radio frequency geospatial analytics provider Hawkeye 360 for use as relays and analysis platforms at 550 kilometers above the Earth. Ameriflight purchases 20 Nautilus Autonomous Cargo Aircraft. Nautilus is a designer and builder of autonomous cargo aircraft. The company plans to fly a full-scale prototype of its blended wing body concept in 2024. 
Presently, Nautilus intends to offer three iterations of its aircraft, the Kona, a short-haul feeder UAV with a 3.8 metric ton maximum payload, the Elysio, a medium-long-range UAV with a 60 metric ton maximum payload, and the Nordis, a long-range cargo UAV with a 100 metric ton payload. To date, Nautilus has logged north of $6.8 billion in order commitments and 460-plus aircraft pre-orders. And that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Electra Aero selected for AFWorks funding. Electra Aero Incorporated has been selected by the U.S. Air Force AFWorks Innovation Arm for a Strategic Funding Increase Award to foster the company's work on sustainable stole aircraft. The deal secures up to $85 million between private investments, government funding, and matching small business innovation research money to be used on Electra's development of a full-scale, pre-production prototype electric short takeoff and landing aircraft. The current state of the company's aircraft promises to operate quite comfortably out of sports field-sized airfields with, quote, helicopter-like operational flexibility, end quote. If all goes as planned, Electra will be able to marry the performance of a highly competent helicopter with the crew's performance and operating cost of comparable fixed-wing aircraft. The e aircraft can operate from congested urban areas to remote improvised landing strips. Electra has received over 1,000 e aircraft orders from commercial customers around the globe. The Stratfi Award secures an investment partnership that funds the rapid development, testing, and evaluation of a full-scale pre-production prototype e aircraft for eventual use by the USAF to validate requirements and operational use cases. AFWorks picked the right time to jump on the bandwagon with Electra's upcoming flight test of their two-seat aircraft. And after these messages, Mighty Fly announces second-gen eVTOL. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Mighty Fly announces second gen eVTOL. Mighty Fly, an autonomous cargo transport company, has obtained an FAA certificate of authorization for long range flight to begin testing its upcoming Cento aircraft. The company allowed their upcoming tester to strut its stuff in the public eye, highlighting its long range and utilitarian design to prospective investors and believers alike. Mighty Fly has plenty to be proud of, nearing flight tests in less than two years after receiving $5.1 million in seed funding and only nine months from being a paper concept. The Cento builds on the company's momentum with the usual sustainable flight bona fides, hybrid electric power, vertical takeoff and landing, 100-pound cargo capacity, and a bevy of lift fans with a pusher prop for fixed-wing flight. Where the Cento breaks from the pack lies in its 600-mile range and 150-mile-per-hour top speed, factors which allow for some impressive same-day delivery service. The fully-loaded Cento weighs just 355 pounds and fits within a two-parking space at 13.1 feet by 16.7 feet. Inside, its cargo bay can fit up to 96 small USPS packages with a 6-foot by 1-foot by 1-foot interior loaded and unloaded by automatic conveyor belt. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.